Hey guys, I hope everyone is having an amazing night. So, I am Lena E. I am the CEO of Sleep Weight Vision Creations. I am the authoress of six books and I'm working on book seven. I am also a published plus size model. So last, maybe a couple weeks ago, I believe, I had did a video on domestic violence and I said that I was going to kind of like start talking about it to get my story out there to help others. So this is a trigger warning. This could um, affect a lot of people in a lot of ways. So I would advise you to listen with caution. These things that happened to me, it may not happen to anyone else and it could have happened to um, other people, I don't know. But I just want to be able to tell my story so that we can all heal together. So this is going to be about an event that happened when I was 15 and the man was 21. He was dating me. He, if you go back, he's the one who is the father of my daughter who passed away. If you go back into my videos, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, but he's the father of my, th my, uh, she and two other daughters. So I'll start with him being mentally abusive and verbally abusive. So it started out as him just, you know, saying like, you're ugly or nobody else wants you. And he started chipping away at my self-esteem, not that there was much self-esteem there from the beginning, but he added on to what I was already going through. So this man had me so low mentally that I barely looked up. And when you're, I met him when I was 14. Let me add that in. And to be around him that long, it kind of like got to a normal state to be verbally abused and it messed with me mentally. And it was, like I said, to the point where my head would be down all the time and I would just think I'm not worth anything. So moving forward, I don't know exactly what happened the day that he beat me with the clothes hanger not saying that it was my fault or anything that I did, but he was just always to the point where he wanted me to be like dependent upon him and don't talk to anyone else. Or like if a man looks at me, he get mad at me. So I believe that that was one of the things that could have caused that incident to happen. So, Back then, there were phone booths. I know some of the younger uh, generations, they may not know nothing about that. <laughs> but uh, back then, there were phone booths. He and I, we ended up at the phone booth. We were, I didn't live too far from that corner, but we ended up at the phone booth fussing and he was just yelling and just being his usual mean self, manipulative. He was just horrible. And when he looked down, my eyes followed his. And he was pulling on me and yanking on me. And next thing I know, he picked up that clothes rack, that clothes hanger. And it was a wire hanger. I'll never forget that. It was a wire hanger. And when I tell you, he proceeded to beat me with that wire hanger. And me being so young, like... At that point in my life, 
things like that was kind of normal. And that's sad to say, but things like that was normal. Like the mental, verbal abuse, the physical abuse. Um, I just thought that that's the way things were. And after he beat me or did anything wrong to me, he would kind of like, well, you know, I love you or just tell me those, those lies, this, this manic love, this uh, abusive stuff. And me being that young, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't taught any better. So um, I'm thinking that it was just the way life was. But anyway, I just want to end on that note because it is kind of late and I want to have time to like look at a television show or comedy or something like that to kind of like get this off my mind. So I want you guys to know that it is okay to seek therapy. I did and I will be going again and there's no time cap um, with seeking therapy. There's no no right or wrong way to go about getting help. Just do what you have to do so that you can overcome, learn how to cope with some things, accept the things that you cannot change, and um, just try to move forward and do better with your life. And just reach out. You know, don't be ashamed. I know that feeling of being ashamed. So just don't do it. Don't feel that way. It's not your fault. It is the actions of that person, what they're dealing with, that they're reflecting upon you. So until my next video, you all be blessed. Like, comment, and subscribe because, like I said, I will be popping on to talk about different things that I have endured uh, with domestic violence. And I just want us to heal together. Have a good day and night, whatever <laughs> time's on your end.